The Australian Institute of Management uh, merged uh, four divisions on January 1 of this year to form the Australian Institute of Management Group. We employ about 250 people uh, and about 1,200 facilitators who are delivering training and professional development in the areas of business, management and leadership right across the country. The challenges we face are actually opportunities is the way that I see them and, uh, and basically there are two. One is the in the short term really looking to get the benefits of integrating our operations into a national business. Um, really focusing on the synergy benefits that are available to us and to the ability to drive scope and scale of our organisation. The second more strategic challenge is really about the nature and change of uh, education and training which is occurring right around the world. At the Australian Institute of Management um, the, the challenge for ICT was quite daunting. Our systems were more than five years old. We had over 50 servers spread across seven racks. Uh, reliability was an issue, um, the network was an issue, we had a lot of internal problems and our reliability with our service provider was also an issue. And so um, we seem to be um, suffering from problems on all fronts and one of the approaches we've had to adapt being a not-for-profit is to um, uh, look at our IT budgets and our spend and try and maximise the uh, potential we can realise for the business and for our members. And as a result of that, um, we've decided to adopt a blended solution. So part of our systems have moved to the cloud and part of the systems have remained in-house. The organisation started 75 years ago, but interestingly, our new Sydney home has really been in North Sydney for 45 years. So moving to our new premises wasn't just about moving to a new building, it was moving home. So for our people, it was a big, big undertaking, but actually what it's done is enable us to build a world-class facility close to where our members and customers are. We've partnered with Optus not only on this new building, but even more broadly to look at our um, IT infrastructure and telephony requirements. And so we've done that for a number of reasons. The first, I think, is we need um, people who can work in partnership with us. We've got a small, relatively small IT team, so we rely heavily on the capabilities of our partners to help us advance and build the world-class product that we, that we want to offer. The second is we get all the benefits of the learning that Optus has dealing with major clients but in our small little business. So for me that gives us a greater opportunity to, to deliver that great product offering that we're working to deliver. We went through a fairly uh, um, in-depth relationship uh, evaluation process with our suppliers and uh, the three key things that struck out about Optus were one, their ability to engage and bring a whole team to the table ahead of the game, that was important. Secondly, uh, to participate and work with AIM who had uh, limited resources, so we've got a small IT team to prepare, develop and put together a plan for the move and for the installation and um, integration of the new services. And then finally to actually not just meet but um, actually exceed our expectations in delivering them. And we've been using the products for over a year now and our, our systems have been reliable, they've been sturdy and we're now at the stage where we're developing that partnership further by actually uh, asking Optus to provide our telephone systems and our internet and uh, Optus's um, ICT services, Optus's internet and voice services and Optus's reach with products and vendors is a, is a wonderful sort of partnership that complements the small IT team that we have and allows us to deliver those services in a cost effective and more manageable way. Optus is excited to be part of Australian Institute of Management's national alignment and bring in their national offices under the one banner. The key to working with them in this capacity is understanding their future strategic direction and ensuring everything we do with AIM today aligns to their future goals.